Hi Calculus 3 students, this is part 5 uh, about the exercise on calculus with parametric curves, the end of section exercise. I was giving you a curve uh, with a bunch of questions like finding the intercept, finding the derivatives, finding the horizontal and vertical tangent lines, sketch the curve. Uh, so now uh, what we will do is we will set up an integral to find the area of the region in quadrant 2 between the curve and the y-axis. So what do we need from the previous parts? We need the derivatives, but they're easy to fetch. And we need the curve that we sketched, right, with all the information that we had before. So setting up the integral for the region in quadrant two. First of all, which, question, which region are we talking about? We're talking about this region. So um, where's my red? My red is Okay, I'm going to get my red. So we're talking about this region, right? We want to find the area of this region. So remember, I'll give you a quick reminder from Calculus 2, uh, and I'll do that in green, let's say. So reminder, reminder from Calculus 2. Okay, so uh, to find the area, you have to start from the lowest value of y. So here you have like uh, y is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0. And here you have y is equal to 20. Okay, and then you have two curves. You have the y-axis. So, uh, so this y-axis will be the curve x equal 0. And this is our parametric curve. It's our function. Well, it's not a function in this case, but it's a parametric curve. So the area between the two curves, so area between two curves, is going to be uh, the integral from y equals 0 to y equal 20. So y equals 0, y equal 20. Uh, and it's going to be the top curve. So uh, top. Uh, so actually, the, the top curve here is the one with the lowest x because in your parametric curve here, you have to realize that x is smaller than 0, okay? So, uh, so basically, it will be 0 minus the curve, 0 minus the parametric curve, okay? And this would be the case if we integrate with respect to y. So... Now what happens is we have to make a change of variable. So, so remember here uh, we change uh, we change like uh, x of y. So the curve is going to be expressed uh, as like uh, x of y. Let's actually say this. We have like x of y. But then what we have to do is to do a substitution. So we go, okay, well, uh, let... So actually, that's the first part of the problem. It's to set up the integral properly. Then we let, okay, uh, y equals y of t. So basically, we're going to integrate in t instead. And then dy is going to be equal y prime of t dt, okay? Now, okay, from there we also have to change the value of integration. We have to go, well, okay, uh, we know that um, so we have that uh, 20, so 20 is equal to uh, y of t, okay? So what is the value of t? We determined before that this corresponds to t is equal to negative 2. So when y is equal to 20, t is equal to negative 2. 
and we have to do the same at zero, right? So zero is equal to y of t. This means that t is equal to zero, like we, we, we determined that before. So what does it mean? So it means that the area that we're looking about, that, that the area that uh, we are looking for, so area is equal to the integral from t is equal to zero, <coughs> t equals zero, to t equals two, <coughs> negative two. Sorry about that. And then what we're going to have here, instead of negative x of y, we're going to have negative x of, uh, of t, pretty much. Negative x of y of t. Uh, well, actually, it's going to be just x of t, right? Because the, the, the variable uh, y now changes to a variable t. But our dy here turns into y prime of t dt. So now what I want you to notice is that uh, we have a negative sign over here that comes from the fact that uh, the curve x equals 0 is above the parametric curve when you look uh, sideways. But notice also that we integrate from 0 to a value below 0. So uh, just for convenience, we're going to swap the limit of integration. And this is allowing us to change uh, to also uh, take care of the negative sign. So this area will be the integral from t equals to negative 2 to t equals to 0 of x of t, y prime of t, dt. And from there, uh, we have to write the result. Uh, so uh, where do I write it down? I will write it down here. It's going to be the integral from z uh, negative 2 to 0 of, uh, so x of t, it's right here. It's t squared plus 2t. y prime of t, it's here. So 6t minus 3 t squared dt. So this is the resulting integral that gives us the area. So let's actually just frame this answer. This is the area. And the answer is right at the bottom here. Hopefully this makes sense and hopefully this video helped. In the next video, we're going to determine the, uh, an, ad, an integral for the arc length of this section of the curve. See you there.